Well, ladies and gentlemen, my broadcast today is very short. As you all are aware, I lost my best friend again. I lost my young brother. And uh, my world seemed to be coming smaller each day of my little life on earth. It's becoming smaller, but I'm grateful to God. And so Matthew Ngosa is my immediate young brother. If you may not know, he comes immediately after me. He's my mother's as, as a third child. And Matthew Ngosa, he's known to me as a young man that I loved dearly. He was born in 1978 on the 14th of February. And he went to be with the Lord on Thursday, this past Thursday. By the grace of God, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, he's... Um, Matthew did not have a bad life. He had a good life, you know. I remember him for that song a lot, you know. And so... A lot of people remember him for that song. I just wanted to pause a little. And that one is what you know him from, which is sung with um, yeah. I want to just play another song that you may remember Matthew for. Uh, it's this song. My. And this one was uh, his favorite. He followed me to Ndola. He said, you need to do this song in my album. And he came home. He begged me. I refused. My wife was very heavily pregnant. And he insisted, no, you need to come and do this thing. And that's how, with the help of God, our Savior, we did that song. That became a blessing to many of you. I miss it. My favorite in that album was this song. And I just thought that I could give you a little background about Matthew and that is my Matthew that is our Matthew that is my mother's child and uh, Matthew was very fine until February for those of you who attended my wife's funeral Matthew was the go-to person he was the family representative for my wife's funeral and at that particular time we didn't know that Matthew was sick 
until through his friend Bowman Lusambo, they were good friends. Uh, Bowman advocated that uh, he sees a doctor called Dr. Makupe in Indola, a very good man. And so Dr. Makupe is the one who actually found out that Matthew had a growth on his liver. And immediately when Matthew was told about the situation he was in Indola, he called me and he told me, Bakalamba, Basanga, a growth, and they're suspecting it's, it's cancer or tumor. He's given me the name of it, and he called me. I said, well, I'm here. Immediately, Matthew came back from Dollar. We met. We talked about it. And the doctor's advice was that we seek medical uh, attention in India. And so immediately, February, we, we left for India. And we were in India for about three to four weeks where Matthew was diagnosed with liver cancer. And I don't know, he knew the names better than I did. I didn't want to know the names. And um, at about um, February, March, while we were still in India, we started chemo. For some of you who don't know what chemo is, chemo is a treatment that uh, people who are suffering from cancer are put on. We started chemo and that chemo was going to go for six months. We started the, this new new chemo. I don't know the name. So forgive me, I won't give you the details and it's, as in names. I would have loved to do that. We came back to we came back to Lusaka because we could not stay for that whole period in India. He needed to have access to good food and family. So we came back and Matthew continued his chemo, which was coming which we bought from India through the aid of many of my friends, myself and other friends of mine who have not given me permission to mention, to call them. Matthew has been on chemo for the last six months and every vital sign of it showed that Matthew was doing okay until we did the last, the last test, the last CT scan, it showed that the tumor had actually grown and there were metastics on the liver, on the lungs. There was also a sign that uh, water was accumulating somewhere. But Matthew's faith was beyond this world. He was a prayerful person. He dedicated his entire life of uh, struggling with cancer in prayer. In prayer. I thank God for my brother, my older brother, Pastor Willie, Singoy, who actually gave his entire life to looking after Matthew, driving him around while I was running up and down with other people trying to organize his safe stay. It was unfortunate that we could not win the battle against cancer. It had grown and spread, but Matthew was alive and live. And I mean alive and live. On, on Wednesday, the day before he passed, Matthew actually took the car and drove to see his family. He drove around, he went even to pick up food. He looked jovial, he looked okay. That same day he was doing press-ups for us, all of us, and he was jovial, ever, everlastingly laughing. Maybe that's what I will remember him for. Unfortunately, on Thursday morning, Matthew developed, uh, uh, what you call this, he started vomiting. And it's a vomiting that took us to the hospital at CDH. And uh, Matthew was pronounced dead at 16 hours at uh, UTH. That's how Matthew went to be with the Lord. His death was very peaceful. He was surrounded by all the people that love him. His wife was there. I was there. Mom was there. His sister was there and his younger brother and other friends, Pastor Franklin, Pastor Abraham, and other friends, family members of uh, Tassila, Tassila's elder sisters, Tassila's mom, Tassila was Matthew's wife. They were all around as we waited for him to take his last breath. Pastor Willie Singoy, my elder brother, was ever there. To the last minute Matthew took his last breath, we surrounded him with love and compassion. He went home peacefully. 
And it's so sad. It's so sad for me because I, I always say Matthew was my project, you know. I took Matthew as my project with Ezra and I, I said I'm not going to be a blessing to other people if I'm not a blessing to if I'm not a blessing to my brothers and I started exercising my music teaching, my music training in my brothers and Matthew was a very successful project. Matthew and Ezra were a great, a great testimony of how God can use a family. That's his voice there. I love it so much. And I can hear Jen singing. I can hear Jen singing. And I remember Mutamla. Mutamla was Matthew's God to producer, you know. There is no music success that Matthew had without Mutamla Mwale. The Bemba man who was a an Eastern song. Let me give you quickly the barrier arrangement for Matthew. The, to, starting from tomorrow, Sunday, there will be a memorial concert for him. Um, I believe the announcement will be made by Chapro, Chola and the friends. Please feel free to contact Chola if you want to participate. The family is just being laid by Chapro. We are going to be there. It's going to be, um, I believe they are arranging for the concert to be at Mulungushi. And the announcement I think will be made, will make, will update you. That is starting from tomorrow afternoon. There will be a praise and worship send of concert for Uncle Matthew, Brother Matthew, my young brother. Oh, that's mom singing, by the way, if you don't know. That's my mother singing with Ezra. And that's the, the young man, Jack. So That is starting tomorrow. We are going to have a concert at uh, Mulungushi Conference Center in the afternoon, I believe. Chapro is the one organizing this. They are, that's a send of a musical send of concert. Then Matthew will be buried on Monday. He'll be buried at Memorial Park. And the service will be at Praise Christian Center. I was so honored to talk to our father, Bishop Ngambi, who was so magnanimous in his heart and his love for us as a family and as my brother. Two of my loved people have gone through that house. My wife went through that house and my son, and now I'm taking my young brother through the same house. I thank you, Bishop. I thank you, Praise Christian Center. So the service will be tomorrow, will be on Monday. The service, the send of uh, the burial will be on Monday. At 08.30, mourners will gather at Praise Christian Center along Greatest Road. After Levy Hospital, after Levy Hospital, there's a big church there. That is where we are going to have a service from. And thereafter, we will proceed to Memorial Park where we will do the actual send-off. Um, I'm very grateful to all the people that have been calling and sending their support. I honor God because without your support your spiritual physical and financial support this matter would have been very heavy on us but your kind support has been oh that's mateo i feel so sad because when mateo was coming in to see his brother he just flown in former ps that's a guy sing singing when he was just coming in he had just flown in and he was coming to see matthew he came 
only to find we are wrapping him, ready to take him out. Thank you. Anyway, I thought that you would know, and you know, I have memories of this. I produced this album, Jackson. My appeal to you is that if by any way you feel moved and you want to contribute something towards this funeral, I will put my numbers there. It's 0977. 88-62-36 that's 0977-88-62-36 again it is 0977-88-62-36 you can do Airtel through that number you can also do FNB pay to sell through that same number if you want to donate anything towards the funeral because there are people who feel like I was one of Matthew's um, friend uh, called me and said we want to contribute you're not giving us information please feel free to use my number that is 0977 886236 but for transparency please send me a message that I so and so have sent this much towards Matthew's funeral I'm very grateful I thought I should just come live and give you that information 